Hey, what's up? My name is Hillman, and today I'm gonna teach you guys how to track your footage using an After Effects CS6 built in 3D tracker and input your tracker points to Cinema 4D and put some 3D stuff in it, maybe. <laughs> so, let's get on with it. So, first thing, download a plugin from Maxin. I, get, I put a link in the description. Uh, uh, if you're using R13, download the second one. Using R14, download the first one. And I'm not sure if you can using R12 because it's CS5. CS5.5 still can work as for CS6, but I don't know. Now, once you done download it, uh, extract your plugin and copy. If using Mac, open this one. If using Windows go choose this one and copy this and paste it on your plugin your After Effects plugin folder and once you've done that start your After Effects I'm gonna drag in my footage to the comp I already did so no need to do that so second first or second I don't know <laughs> now next you have to go to animation tab and track your camera and I'm gonna wait the track yeah <laughs> I'm sorry so I'm gonna continue guys once you're done tracking and we're back with the tracking that just finished solving the tracking points so we got our tracker here and it's perfectly tracked so next what you're gonna do is find your tracking points that have same level with your floor here don't choose your tracker points like here somewhere choose your tracker point for the best same with floor I'm gonna choose here so what you're gonna do is um, right click create solid in camera why because the solid will act as a floor on Cinema 4D so next um, create um, the same uh, right click with the same null with the same null track um, right click with the at same tracking and create null it will act as a null object. So next, uh, go to file, go to export, and Cinema 4D Explorer. If you don't have this, it means that you didn't install your plugin yet. Click that, and I'm gonna save it. Save it here. I'm just gonna name this tracker. E. -E. <laughs> save that, and I saved on desktop here. Mine's a Notepad because I used to tweak a little bit. So next, open your Cinema 4D and drag in your tracker points, tracking points to the Cinema 4D, and you got yourself a nice, you know, tr tracking. Blah blah blah. I don't know what I'm talking about. So if you see here, you need to uh, next. You need to, you know, um, make sure the grid has same level as the floor here. So what you're gonna do next is go to camera use camera and go to click default camera zoom out and what you're gonna do is click your tracker points here and move your tracker points to the center of the grid the reason why is because oh it's far away actually it was, it was near the reason why I do this because uh, it's easier for you to add some 3D object if you wait did I just rotate uh, it's easy for you to add a 3D object in the middle of the 3D points I don't know what I'm talking about so once you've done that go back to camera use camera and change back to 3D tracking camera see here the grid plane here act like your floor but it doesn't do anything yet so next is we're gonna we gonna add some background to it, add some background, and make sure your your render your make sure you change your Photoshop to JPEG sequence, or else your background will run slowly. So create material and turn off specular, create color, create texture, load image. I got my sequence here right here. Click the first frame, open. If this window popped out, click no. Click the long button here. It says sequence or anything. 
that and go to the animation tab and click calculate this thing will calculate all your sequence that you just render and now next drag your material to the background and once you scrub over voila you get your own trick track on camera without using Buju, pair track or synthize it's easy and quick fast hmm. so next is um, if you render out you will see the blue here so what you can do is just turn off your tracker here and when you render out it will gone but don't worry this thing will still be tracked if you even if you turn off this one this thing will still be tracked so I'm just gonna give you an example of putting some 3d stuff as if you see if you click if you create a new object this the object will be small because it, it because it's far from your camera that's why it's small I'm gonna move it to uh, here I'm gonna rotate this I'm gonna add a floor and for the floor if you render out you'll see all the gray here so what you're gonna do is drag your material that have the sequence drag the floor and if you see the projection here from flat you're gonna change to frontal next you're gonna go to uh, right click your floor you're gonna see my 40 tags and go to compositing uncheck self shadowing and check compositing background when you when you render it you get your own you get your normal floor <laughs> like nobody else this the reason why I do this because you can make a reflection to your footage to your object so you get your own reflection there you get some nice little reflection and also the reason I do that I do the floor because if I put some ambient occlusion to it you're gonna render out the darkness the shadow here but I'm gonna add some lights to it so it's yeah so it's once I render it I got ah come on oh yeah the the ambient inclusion because the contrast is not much I guess yep that will do I'm gonna add some shadow to it Be because the objects too big that's why yeah that would be that will do so yeah that's it oh yeah for I'm gonna teach you guys uh, I'm gonna give you one more thing if you guys are going to render a video your output and frame range here if you guys on a current frame change to all frame yeah and save here save any way you want to but make sure your save your format is the the tith one the PSD layer the Photoshop layer the reason is um, it gives you great quality I guess I don't know people always do that so I just gonna follow people what they say what they should say and I add global illumination and uh, yeah that's it if you guys find my video help in my tutorial helpful click the like and subscribe button I will pretty much do whatever you want to yeah if you if my subscriber hit 50 or something because I'm new to this not really <laughs> if my subscriber hit 50 I'm gonna teach you guys how to do this maybe and and best thing is all this are done with cinema 4d and for the fire part I'm using CS4. I'm using After Effects, so I just rendered the JPEG sequence to an import it at Cinema 4D. Yeah. So once again, thanks for watching the tutorial. Comment down below if you still don't get how to do it, and I'll be sure to reply it and help you. It. <laughs> so see you guys later. Peace out.